Hi, what's up guys? Happy New Year. How's it going? I decided I'm going to try out this Starbucks drink that just dropped today. They have two different ones. There's like a coconut one that's like with some type of sugar and then they have another one that's almond milk based that has um, some honey in it or something like that. So I figured I'd probably try the almond milk drink since, you know, that's like right up in my alley. Coconut, coconut is cool, but you know, I feel like it's overpowering drinks. Like if you had seen like my other Starbucks video about the white chocolate mocha toasted white chocolate mocha. I tend to prefer almond milk. So I'm over here near the Starbucks, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So let's see what I think. Here I am at the Starbucks. Can I get free? The almond milk flat white. Thank you. <laughs> you too. So here's my drink. I got a short because I don't really need to be drinking a ton of coffee, but isn't it adorable? Look at the little size. Here's like the size for measure, how tiny it is. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's way warmer than I thought it was. I just got my drink. It was a little busy, so I didn't like record too much while in there. I got the vibe that it wasn't chill. Here's the drink I got. It is a... Um, what is this? I already forgot. Okay, I literally had to go look it back up because I already forgot. <laughs> Almond Milk Honey White Flat. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Or Flat Honey White. Yeah, okay. So I got the, whatchamacallit, the short size because I don't really need to be drinking coffee, but sometimes I treat myself to things I should be having from time to time. Yes, so I didn't make any customizations to the drink itself. It's pretty much the same drink, just in a cute little tiny cup. I love it. Back to this taste test. Let's see how it is because I really like kind of very creamy beverages and I feel like this might resemble a white chocolate mocha, but we'll see since it's called like a white flat. Let's try this out. Um, hmm. This is actually not as sweet as a white chocolate mocha, which is surprising. For some reason, I thought it would be sweeter. It's subtle. It actually has the, um, what kind of espresso is this? Blonde espresso. I don't think I've ever had this from Starbucks before. It's actually a little coffier than I thought or sharper. I probably should have got some sugar because you know, you guys, I'm a big old sugar head and I feel like it's not quite sweet enough for my liking. And I'm trying to see if I can taste like the honey, but I don't really taste anything besides coffee and almond milk. Like, nope, <laughs> I don't taste anything. Maybe I just didn't get it mid grade or something, but like, all I taste is almond milk and coffee. <laughs> so there's my um, review. Unfortunately, it's kind of short because I don't know. It's cool, like, but I feel like it's not really giving me the vibes. I was hoping it would be like sweet and honey and calming and creamy, kind of like the toasted white mocha. But as it is, I just feel like it's just like a latte. It tastes like an almond milk latte to me. Maybe I should have stirred it up. Sometimes with these drinks, like it gets like the, the syrup or whatever gets stuck at the bottom, but. I don't know, fail. <laughs> I was hoping this video would go better because generally I like like anything coffee related. I think it just needs to be a little bit sweeter for me. Maybe I need to add more pumps because I looked online and it's usually two pumps and then it's two shots of espresso and then, you know, the almond milk. So maybe because I got a short, maybe they didn't put as much of the syrup in. So if I had to rate this, I'd just give it a rating as like a regular old coffee. So... I don't know, six. <laughs> I don't really feel like there's anything too exciting about it, unfortunately, but at least there's another dairy-free option for people. And if you like drinks that aren't that sweet, this will be perfect. So yeah, so it's not bad. It's just not what I was hoping for, you know, my sugary self. Probably next time I'll probably put like a squirt of vanilla because usually what I do when I come to Starbucks and I'm not trying to get a specialty drink is just like get um, a regular latte and then put some sugar-free vanilla and do like almond milk and then it's cool. So there goes my taste test for today. I have a little bit of time to kill because I was going to go to Trader Joe's and then go to Sprouts and like bring you guys along. But it doesn't really make sense because all my food's going to get hot in the car while I'm like have my over the phone conversation. So I didn't really like plan this out properly, but it's okay. I feel like 20, 2020 so far, it's just been like a little bit like a rocky road, kind of weird. So my New Year's, if you guys don't know, was like kind of random. I actually went to this place called um, Rig Riggers. Riggers Loft and it's like in Richmond in this like wavy near the bay like offshore like deserted area it's like by itself but it's super super cute on the inside it's got like the wine bins and the bar and they decorated it really nice I went with my friend Rebecca 
And then she introduced me to some of her other friends. And that ended up being like a complete whirlwind in itself. Uh, I think we kind of got off on the wrong foot, but it's okay. New Year's was awesome. I had a good time. They had some good eats. I think maybe I can insert a couple of like shots that I took from um, Snapchat when I was like, you know, counting down to the clock and all of that. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then another random thing happened on like New Year's Eve. Eve, so like that was technically December. I like dropped, speaking of coffee, I dropped my coffee maker on my thumb, you guys. Like, who does that freaking happen to? <laughs> I'm such a freaking klutz, so it's still okay. It's okay, and it doesn't look swollen, but it's tender to the touch on the outside, so I need to be like super careful for a while. So there you go, your girl's freaking insane. <laughs> Like the weirdest things happen to me. Glad it's 2020. Things in general are going pretty good. Yesterday I went to the DMV and I got my driver's license. Um, I was super, super stressed about it because I actually went to go get the real ID driver's license last year in January. And then it was like, oh, you need to take the test. And I was like freaking out because I was like, I haven't taken a written test in like since I was 16 or 17 or something like that. So I was like freaking out about it. And then I just like put it on the back burner and then I sprained my ankle last year and I was just like, couldn't get to the DMV, driving was not a priority and then, then my glasses broke and then I was like, I was too stressed and I just wanted to ignore it and here we are, 2020 and I just went back and got it all done. I have like a temporary license, they give you like a temporary paper or whatever, but it's not like the real ID. I just got the regular driver's license because I was just like, I don't even want to deal with all this. I have a passport, so if you have a passport, you don't need the real ID. But then I had a friend of mine tell me that if you're traveling out of country, some countries actually require a real ID. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but I'm not planning on traveling anywhere to, but to Finland. Hopefully I get to go to Finland this year. That's on the books. I'm putting it out there, you guys, because I really hope that it happens. I do want, if you don't know already, I'm in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend and he lives in Finland. So I'm hoping to visit. I've been trying to visit for like the last two years, but like life has just been like... Yeah, so I'm hoping I can go this year and that would be freaking awesome. So I'm just gonna put that out there for 2020, but if it doesn't happen, don't come for me, y'all. So I don't really have any New Year's resolutions for this year. I usually do, but I feel like they never, they, they're just, point, the years since I've moved back to the East Bay have not been going as planned. The one thing that I ultimately hope for every single year, regardless of what's going on, is just like better health. So I'm gonna stick with that. It's not a resolution. It's like a, you know, a journey or a goal to just improving my health and not have all these random things pop up. Have a great New Year's, you guys. I'm gonna put all the good vibes out there for you. I want everybody to be happy, successful, healthy, and loved, you know? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that notification bell and I will see See you soon. Bye for now. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my drink and then just wait for my doctor's appointment over the phone. Bye.